Hi, for those of you who have homework over the weekend, this was something that I assigned for students who did not finish it at school. Um, what I recommend is that you go ahead and do all the problems. So you work out and solve all the problems. The first one was done for you. Don't, don't skip any. Make sure you get all of them. And then what you're going to go back and do is you're going to look for the ones that are related facts. So on each leaf you have two facts. You need to decide um, if they're related or not. And remember the way you find out if they're related is you look at them and you see, well here I have 8, 4, and 12. Do I also have 8, 4, and 12 here? Well I have 4 and 8 but I don't have 12. So those aren't related. I'm going to leave this leaf blank. Right here, again, I have 10, 10, and 0. Oops, that was a plus sign. I have 10, 10, and 20. Here I have 10, 10, and 20. So I am going to color this leaf green, and I'm just going to put a check mark here to indicate the ones that should be colored green. Then here, again, we have 7, 8, and 15. 7, 8, 15. So yes, this one's going to be colored green as well. Here we have 7, 6, and 13. 7, 6, and 13, so I'm going to color that one green. 9, 5, and 14. Here I have 9, 5, and 4. So those are not related because it's not the same three numbers. They use 9 and 5. Here they added, but if you remember on our related uh, facts, we have to have the sum of the addition problems should be the first number in our subtraction problems. Here we have 9, plus eight, 9, 8, and 17. 9, 8, and 17, so that one's going to be colored green. 7, 5, and 12. 7, 5, up, oh, that's 2, so that's not going to be colored green. Again, they try to trick you by saying, oh, you have 7 and 5, but if it were related, the sum of the addition problem would be the first number in your subtraction problem. 9, 4, and 13. 9, 4, and 13, this leaf will be colored green. 9, 6, and 15, 9, 6, and 15. That one will also be colored green. Now let's look at the back. The back has the problem solving and the hot problems on it. So these can be challenging, which is a good thing because we want to make sure that we're challenging ourselves to think mathematically. The first one, the directions uh, are to use the numbers to write related uh, addition and subtraction sentences. This was kind of like the homework the other night. Um, you get to choose what numbers you want to use. But both of these for number 11 need to be related. So I would write a, an addition sentence here and a subtraction sentence here. And I, to make it easy on myself, I might do this. I might say, well, all these are going to be addition. My equals sign and all of these are going to be subtraction because I know for each one I have to write an addition sentence and a subtraction sentence then my equals sign. Now here I get to choose. Well, I think I'm going to use 4, 5, and 9. So 4 plus 5 equals 9. Now I'm going to write a related subtraction sentence. I know that the sum of my addition sentence needs to be the first number in my subtraction sentence. So 9 is going to go first this time. Then I can pick either one of these add-ins to subtract, and I think I'll pick 5, and the difference is going to be whatever add-in you did not subtract will be the difference. Then I think I'll pick, um, I think I will pick 9 and 5. So I'm going to say 9 plus 5 is 14, so my um, sum is going to come first in my subtraction sentence, 14 minus 9 equals 5. Either one of the add-ins could be put in either one of these places and it would still be correct. And then the last one I think I'll choose is 7 plus 6 equals 13. 13 minus 7 equals 6. Again, you can choose whatever one you want, but you have to make sure that the statement that you write is true. So I couldn't have said, I couldn't have chosen um, 8 plus 9, 
right? I couldn't have chosen that because I don't have 17 here. That's not one of my options. So I had to choose only numbers that were here, and it had to be a true statement. I couldn't have said 8 plus 9 equals 13 because that's not true. Then I also need to make sure that the two facts that I put in next to the number are related. Which number can be, not be used to re write related number sentences? I have to decide out of these four which number would not be used to write a related subtraction uh, number sentence. And it's going to be six. And the, the explanation is that seven and eight can be added to make 15 or subtracted from 15 to get the other number but 6 is not related to 15 through either of these numbers. So you would need to write a sentence to explain that. So I would, I would probably write 6 can not be used because it can't be subtracted from the other numbers and ha and get an answer from those numbers. Not the best worded sentence, but off the top of my head, you're getting the gist of it. That you have to have an explanation as to why, and it has to do with the fact that this is not related to these three numbers, um, and, and there's no way you can use six with these other three numbers together to get the other number. Which subtraction fact is related to 6 plus 8 equals 14? I hope with all these related subtraction facts and addition facts that you are able to get this one very easily. 14 would have to come first, so it can't be this one. I have to have 6 and 8, so it can't be this one. Can't be this one. It has to be this one. Happy math.